Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again. Listen, I wanted to do a one year later review of the Diamondback HD cover. I got it in that smooth black. I got some pros and cons that I want to talk about this thing and it is sunny as hell. So first off, you got to forgive the sunglasses, but I do have sensitive eyes. Thank you, Marine Corps. But anyways, you know, I just definitely wanted to give you my thoughts about this cover overall. So we have the Diamondback HD cover. Let's talk about the outside of the cover real quick. I got the HD version that comes with the pre-installed 12 cleats. You cannot get this modified. If you get the HD version, it does have the tw uh, 12 cleat, uh, cleats that are already pre-installed. The SD version, I think only comes with four, but you can upgrade the 12. Don't quote me on that. This thing's held up pretty well. We recently did have a hail storm here in the Metroplex. And for the most part, it did pretty well. Um, I recently acquired the um, cab guard that goes along with the truck itself. A, uh, a few things about the cab guard I'm not the biggest fan of is if you look here, it doesn't really contour with the lines of the actual HD cover itself. It's really boxy. Like you would think that this cover, uh, that this cab guard was made by a different manufacturer. Like look how it just kind of doesn't really flow that well into there. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. The installation process was not incredibly hard. It probably took me a half an hour. I will say though, uh, drilling into your cover can be a little bit nerve wracking. You have to drill two holes in the cover itself to install this, but it matches pretty well with the cover itself. I do have my Pro Eagle three ton Kratos jack mounted up there. That thing rides up there smooth. I have no issues with that at all. Diamondback's customer service is A1. Uh, so this front um, panel will no longer lift because of the weight of that jack. They're sending me out some gas struts free. I really appreciate that. Those will be here soon. I've had it, you know, a little bit of scraping here. I had a uh, pallet put on by Lowe's. And so a little bit of the powder, powder coat did come off there. We also have, um, you know, I don't have any surface rust on the actual locking mechanism so far. I really thought that was gonna be an issue. I guess maybe if I live further north, it would be an issue. Uh, so maybe like, you know, you have folks like the Canadian Prepper and those folks, maybe they have issues with surface rust on a lock, but I have none at all. So my recommendation, if you get this system to definitely buy a few, a few minimal accessories to go along with it it's going to just save you some headaches in the future so you know here i purchased their mounting system so you can probably rig this up yourself if you just buy some aluminum and you know but their mounting system is not that expensive and here you can now mount directly to the underside of the panel and then buy some quick uh quick fist clamps these are rubberized clamps you can buy on amazon or you can buy them from the down back website but these things allow for you to mount things up here so i have my uh, fisker's maw mounted up here i have another which is blank here what do you guys think i should mount here you know i'm thinking about mounting a shovel but i think that might be redundant because in those boxes i do have shovels if you guys have seen my vehicle edc so another thing i would recommend that you definitely mount up in here would be a light so my truck does come equipped with the led lights from the factory, those LED lights illuminate down in the bottom part of my truck. They're turned off right now, we're in the middle of the day. I would recommend if you, uh, if you don't have lights already set up or if you just want a little bit more light, you know, just grab these lights here. They're really easy. Uh, might be kind of hard to see, but they light up relatively easily and they turn off after five minutes if you fail to turn them off. So I haven't had any issues with the gas struts. I haven't had any issues with that. I do have, uh, Another complaint, uh, every time you take any of these panels off, maybe it's just an issue I have. I'm not sure if, you, if you've heard about anybody having a similar issue as well, but every time I take these panels off, I have to redial in the cover. Um, so I like my cover purposely kind of hanging over a little bit here. I do have the longitudinal latitude to push it up further. I just choose to have it, but you know, every time I take this off, my wife went the other day to buy some plants and she knew the plants were gonna be hanging all high. I could have, you know, laid the panel on top of the other panel, 
But the thing about doing that is when I'm not driving my truck, I just want it to be as safe as possible for my wife. So I took the panel off. And when I took the panel off and put it back on, I had to you know, make micro adjustments just to make sure it was completely flush again. So, you know, that's not the most convenient thing to have to do, but you know, it is what it is. I would say that um, it does create sort of a, you can kind of see it here. You can definitely see it in the front, but just that dirt gap, it does do a pretty good job with weather, weather sealing. Once this cover is on, you can do things like put your golf clubs in the back and just completely not concern yourself with those things, growing legs and walking off. Now, all locks are pickable. You know, someone that's really determined can get inside this thing, but it is a really good deterrent. So I guess what I would say is, would I recommend getting the cover itself? Yes. Uh, if price is an issue, if, if you're gonna be keeping your truck for a long time, if it's gonna be something that's gonna be a part of your bug out, you wanna keep your stuff safe, I would recommend getting this cover, but you know that's something you have to think about. I think this runs around $2,200 USD, so you just gotta be able to be prepared to spin that nugget. If you like this video so far, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, you should probably subscribe, man. We like doing stuff around here about your man cave, tools, bug out gear, survival gear, get home bags. And this is the type of reviews that we want to talk about. Should you make the next purchase for these type of items? If you want to know my original thoughts on the Diamondback cover, just click, click right here. Just click, click right there. I'm gonna put a video there. You can see my original thoughts. And if you want to see some more thoughts about the vehicle EDC and things you should keep inside your vehicle, click there. I'm gonna put a video there. Check out my vehicle EDC. We'll speak soon.